Criticate! Hey, welcome back to the We Forgot Everything because it's a new recording session episode of Dream Daddy. So Yay. we don't. Uh, chances are we'll forget most of the character voices. We, we Yeah, probably. We fucked Keith. You, yeah, we did Was Robert. it Keith? We oh, Robert. yeah, Robert. We fucked yeah. Robert. Right. Keith is our character. Keith is name. our character. Keith Sledgem. Right. I forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> or Keith Sledgem. I pull uh, up to the carpool and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. V oh, fuck. I totally don't know how to do his voice. Mr. Mr. Vega, Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. That's exactly the voice. You just did the exact same voice. <laughs> I found it. So, you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? It was a very productive meeting. Hmm. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Uh, we can make something at home or go to the mall food court. Let's be social. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was the sadder one, but okay. Let's let's go out. Does that sound good to you? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, why the mall? Jeez, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall hmm? in full Danny Sexbang costume? You buy me things? <laughs> <laughs> I will buy you a thing, singular. Sounds like a deal to me. Drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. What game? <laughs> Wait, quiz. What I game is she playing? Uh, Angry Flappy Birds. Funny joke, dude. <laughs> yeah. You had any chance. I, I, <laughs> I forgot the name of what Flappy Bird was for a second. <laughs> you know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay. But also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Mm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. I mean, I dye my hair green, isn't that pretty cool? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's a good to share. Love you. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dad. I'll admit it. I fucked your ex-girlfriend. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Mm. No. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pop. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. No, I said I wanted to fuck Mr. Uh, never mind. He's uh, fine. He's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, we pull up to a stoplight, and I, I, Amanda, she's still texting. Just. Who's she texting? I want you to know you can talk to me about anything. Dad. Uh huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Fucking, are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Hmm? Fucking little millennial piece of shit. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, it's a... Uh, I, I don't think you get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Huh. Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Also a friend of the show. <laughs> No, if you listen to this, oh, yeah. fuck you. Does he go to your school? Mm, yeah. Do you like Noah? Huh? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe you would. Uh, Dad. I mean, I mean, jeez. Fucking freak Why out would you? Uh, <laughs> gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. God damn it. <laughs> Guys, I think gonna be friends. He's just with me. Okay, okay. God, what the fuck's with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> <laughs> well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. What's to the mall, what, what, then. What is the least opportune song to come on the radio? Uh, I Kissed a Girl. 
<laughs> I like it like that. Hey, you are just really uncomfortable. <laughs> we arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Hey, stop jerking off outside that Build-A-Bear, you fucking shit. That's about right. Yes. <laughs> that happened to me when I was in uh, New York, actually. I saw a homeless man jerking off outside of Build-A-Bear. Oh. I liked it. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Alright. Hell yeah! Language, Missy. Double hell yeah! <laughs> Better. Mm. We people are... just listening to this. I probably should stop changing her life. <laughs> we approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy here. That sounds right. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread with cheese on it? Or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? <laughs> she takes my hand with a grin. Uh, it would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. Aw. We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. Hey, these are bad. These are very bad. You guys went to a fucking mall. What do you expect? But also strangely delicious? Hmm. We have to eat through the pain. We <laughs> enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Oh, no. Mm. <sighs> Which meme? All. All memes. Oh. God, I'm about to hate this. <laughs> Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Uh, that, it, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get uh -huh. less funny the more people do it. So yeah. the problem is that uh, the time a meme gets to you, Dad, okay. all of you have already done the joke to death. Wait, but... Uh. And what's worse is that is that movies and TV and video games will try and jump in on the meme train, but, but just based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out, so it just dates it, and it isn't funny. Well, then... Like... Oh, oh shit, what up? <laughs> Dad, please, you're starting to sound like Borderlands 2. Anyway, change the subject. You. <laughs> that is not what Borderlands 2 is like yes, is. at all. Yes, no, I've played it recently. It doesn't... <laughs> it's not that bad. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? <laughs> Want to go to that goth store? Oh, yeah. what a cool dad. Yes, I do. <sighs> what? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment, despite being an exact representation of the establishment. Holy shit. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. The one we can't say for legal reasons. D dude, you gotta be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Ah! That one! <laughs> yes! Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. Yeah! There it is! You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so... Proud? Speech! Amanda. Yeah. Speech! Speech! <laughs> Alright! I'll do it if you stop chanting in that fucking weird voice! <laughs> <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears> throat> Thank you for all, all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Sledgem had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. Oh. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond and to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father <laughs> then had to... Our references? <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot, I kind of like it. Then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Uh. Amanda's moved. She begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster, and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. Start down my head. Oh. Oh, hey, Chain Waltz. Oh. While Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try and find something of interest no, to myself. <laughs> Not much for a dad to look at at Dead Goth and Beyond. Uh, peruse the band t-shirts, look at the ironic mugs, or check out Clearance Bin for hot deals. I think. <laughs> oh, 
we might have to make uh, this choice. Oh, are we already? Oh, for shit. The next episode okay. of motherfucking Criticade. All right. So if you want to know what happens at God. It, uh, vote, vote by commenting, and we'll we'll listen nah, to you. Nah, listen. We're just gonna <laughs> do this episode in five seconds. Yeah. Let see you. Peek behind the curtain. <laughs> subscribe. Like it. I don't give a shit what you do, except unless you don't subscribe. Or whatever. Are you done? Just Bye. Do <laughs>